what's happening what's good what's going on part of my presence youtube channel i want to talk about the fact that gz aka jay jenkins filed for divorce from jenny ma now this is a story that broke out i believe last week and it's been lingering for quite some time because there hasn't been an official reason given as to why this occurred all we know is that it was gz that actually filed for divorce which is odd because usually it's the woman that files for divorce the woman who indicates that it's irreconcilable differences or a woman saying that the husband cheated so on and so forth so for gz the man, the husband, to file for divorce and to do it after only two years and the fact that they just had a child recently is kind of odd to say the least. So a lot of people are speculating, a lot of people are bringing up old clips and they're trying to make assumptions and they're trying to tie in different storylines. There's so many things that could be said, but I don't want to speculate, but I do want to talk about a few things regarding these two people and their union. Now, I'm going to just preface all this because before GZ and Jenny Ma even became an item, there was a clip, and I'm sure all you guys have already watched it, where Jenny Ma, while she was married at the time to her first husband, a white man, how she was saying that she likes white meat, but dark meat on the side. And she said this on national television on one of those shows like The View. And a lot of people had a lot of strong reactions. A lot of people laughed. A lot of people giggled. But a lot of people also said, what the hell does that mean? And it kind of gave an insight as to the mentality of Jenny Ma and how she viewed black men and how black men are not really legitimate partners. They're partners that you have, on, not even the partners, they're people or objects that you have on the side. They're good for a short period of time and then you can throw them away while you maintain the, uh, I guess you could say the continuous or the consistent interaction with the white meat. That's what seems to be the mentality that Janima uh, displayed in that particular viral clip, uh, clip. Now, I had a lot of issues with what was said by Janima. I, I felt that for you to say something like that so publicly and in such a fashion, it's something that was ingrained in your psyche. It's not something that you just, you know, thought out at the top of your head. It's something that you really truly feel. You may not have articulated in the right fashion. You may not have said it with the right uh, understanding about who's listening, but you definitely mean what you said and you definitely look and view certain people as meat. Now, having said that, there's also a group of people who always seem to think that in order for you to be successful, in order for you to be considered as someone of importance, of stature, that it's better that you date someone outside of your race because in doing so, you show society, greater society, that you have elevated and have evolved. I don't know where that comes from. I don't understand why people think that that's the case. I don't understand why Jeezy felt that, well, again, I don't even know if Jeezy even feels that way, but I don't know why people on the outside, whether it's on social media, whether it's through the blogs, whether it's through uh, people on YouTube and their channels and all the BS that they spew, why they would think that dating and marrying Jenny Ma meant that Jeezy elevates his social status. Jeezy has a better career, a more successful career. He has done more. And on top of that, he was already elevated and evolved before he even met or dated Jenny Ma. Because if you remember, he went from being the snowman and wearing the long white tees to dressing up better, being more age appropriate, to actually meeting with um, <laughs> meeting with Joe Biden during the campaign, like he's a boss. I have that picture. It was Jeezy. It was Ti, and it was weird because here you have two drug dealers, or or quote unquote ex drug dealers, who are sitting down with the next future president of the United States. It was an odd photo. But it made so much sense as far as how America actually runs and the connection between the legitimate world and the underworld, right? But it was an interesting thing to see GZ have his what we would call a a do-over or a career makeover but all of that occurred before he started dating Jenny Ma so I don't understand how people are trying to attribute Jenny Ma to 
uh, GZ's glow up or success when all of those things came before Je uh, Jenny Ma. And let's be clear and let's be honest, Jenny Ma is not someone I would consider as a step up, so to speak. I don't consider someone who is a divorced woman uh, you know, already already was with someone else that she dedicated her life to, and now she's getting married again as a one up or someone that you evolve with. Now, whether or not they were actually in love, I don't know, but I would never ever say that dating a woman outside of my race is a better look. So now that we've spoken about race, let's talk about ethnicity and the cultural differences because it was rumored that the cultural differences is what broke uh, Jenny Ma and Jeezy apart. Now, if we focus on Jenny Ma for a moment, Jenny Ma is from a Chinese father and a Vietnamese mother. And if you've been watching Jenny Ma for quite some time, she also has a YouTube channel where she discusses many cultural things with her mother and other family members. And she is is someone who's proud of her uh, ethnicity and her Asian uh, heritage. And if you look at the tropes when it comes to uh, Asian people, a lot of it has to do with maintaining a tight-knit family, passing on the teachings culturally to their children, and maintaining the what I would call uh, the language and the teachings passed on to the children. So it wouldn't surprise me whether or not Jenny Ma had a certain idea of how they're going to raise their daughter. And from what the rumors have been saying is that Jenny Ma brought in her mother into the matrimonial home and also her brother into the matrimonial home. And that might have been an issue for Jeezy to have other people inside his matrimonial home that he's probably covered in pain for. And especially in a situation where now they are having control over their child. Now, I'm going to say this because when you look at Jeezy's background, you're going to understand why this would be an issue because Jeezy is someone that was born in South Carolina. Uh, he didn't really have a stable family upbringing. Uh, according to him, his family upbringing was empty. Uh, he moved to Atlanta where he uh, stayed by or was raised by different family members. So in other words, he doesn't really have a tight knit uh, family circle. And to my knowledge, I don't even think I've seen or even uh, heard of GZ talk about his siblings or his mother, so on and so forth. And it wouldn't surprise me if, if, if Jay Jenkins doesn't really have a good relationship with his family. And if that's the case, that you don't have a good and strong relationship with your family, and then you're entering a union with someone who has a very strong tight-knit connection with their family, then it can become overbearing. But also what will happen is that the other family who's more tight-knit is going to start making decisions and taking control of situations. And if you're not careful, you could find yourself on the outs in your own home. And I think that's exactly what happened with Jeezy and Jenny Ma. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Now, you remember what I said earlier, the fact that Jenny Ma looks at black men as dark meat on the side to have fun. Do you could see where she might not see other qualities that black men or black people in general possess that might be ideal for her children or their upbringing. So you could kind of see where she and her family might take the position that the Asian way is the superior way. And because I have my mother involved and have my brother involved, and I'm going to bring him into the household. We're going to raise our child who is half black as or with Asian uh, either perspectives or Asian upbringing, Asian teachings, Asian lessons. And we're going to teach him the Asian language. And GZ, not knowing the Asian language, not might, probably not familiar with the Asian way, the Asian teaching, the tiger mom and all the different things. He is probably going to look at it and say, well, if my daughter is going to be raised as you know, a, an Asian child, then what do I have to offer to this child? And where am I instilling my culture, my down south culture into my child? Where is that going to be brought into this equation? Because I don't really have a mother that I could bring into the household to counterbalance what you're doing with your mother and your uh, brother bringing into the house. So there's going to be a lot of clashes involved with that, a lot of cultural clashes. And again, like I 
I said, because of how Jenny Mai has spoken about black men and black culture, you can kind of see where she might look at herself and her ethnicity as the more superior one in which to raise their child. And if you're someone with a backbone, you're going to say, hell no, that's not going to happen. And you're going to do everything possible to make sure that your child is not brought up in an environment that they're only focusing on one part of their cultural background. And I think that is why GZ may have filed for divorce. So one thing I want to talk about is the reproduction aspect of all of this, okay? Because there are many times, and again, it's not to say that this is the case for these specific people, but it's something that is pretty commonplace when it comes to interracial unions and relationships, especially when there's a kid involved. Many times people get involved in these inter racial marriages or unions in order to produce an interracial child or a mixed child. Now, the reason for that is usually because they want a child that has mixed features because mixed features seems to be the features that are in demand, features that seem to be the most popular, features that seem to be uh, the most, uh, I guess, sought after when it comes to how accessible it is for marketing, how accessible it is to be involved in show business, modeling, acting. So many different opportunities seem to be given to children of mixed ethnicity or of mixed appearance. And all of this, I guess you could say, started with Obama when Obama came onto the scene. And a lot of people were looking at mixed children or mixed people in a more favorable light. Now, this might sound crazy to a lot of people, but it's actually a thing where people are deliberately having children with a non-black person or you have people that are white or Asian who are looking to have children with a black person in order to produce these types of results. You could say that it's a fetish. You could say that it's insane for people to do this, but it is being done and it's done deliberately. And that's something that you have to question whether or not that was either the reason that these two got together and had a child or whether or not that was in the back of their heads as far as we're going to have a cute, beautiful, half Chinese, half Vietnamese, half black baby. I don't know, but that's something that should be considered when you look at the fact that GZ and Jenny Ma did not work out. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is this, because this is probably the most important of it all. Regardless of one's race or ethnicity or their culture or background, there's nothing more important than whether or not the two people in the union have personalities that mesh well. How do you guys communicate? How do you guys show love for one another? How do you guys show respect and show that you value the other person's opinions? How do you show that you listen to the other person? How do you show all of those things that matter more than one's race or whether or not you raise your child to be a certain way on a cultural level? You have to be able to learn how to communicate with somebody and whether or not that communication style is what you're looking for in a partner. And based on a video that Jimmy Ma put out recently, and this was after they were married, she mentioned that she found out or she learned that she had a temper and how Jeezy, based on uh, how she viewed Jeezy and how she had respect for Jeezy, she was able to catch that within her. And she made a point to say that it wasn't just her attitude with Jeezy in particular, this was an attitude that she probably already had and that was affecting her previous marriage as well too but GZ was the first one to pretty much call her out on that and this makes me wonder because a lot of times people will date outside their culture because they feel that other cultures have women that value their men who revere their men who are not going to you know be the quote-unquote woman with the attitude testing their men but as you can see it doesn't matter what race you are or what cultural background you're from if you have a hot temper, you have a hot temper. And if you're a man dealing with a woman with a hot temper, that is the worst type of personality that you want to deal with because you can never have just a regular disagreement. Everything gets blown out of proportion and it's very hard to reconcile. So I can see with all of these things involved in the marriage, all of these discrepancies, I can see where the man, the husband, Jeezy, could make that decision to say, you know what, I no longer want to be in this union because this is going to put me in a position where if I don't leave, 
it could lead to someone putting hands on me and enforcing me to put hands on them, put me in a position where my child is uh, being raised in a culture that I don't really recognize or feel that there's any value or space for me to inject into my own child. There's so many different things that I could see why GC would have the right and the uh, push and the incentive to get out of this marriage. So again, there's so many factors at play here. All of this is assumptions. All of this is me projecting based on everything that we've seen on TV thus far, based on the conversations that Jenny Ma has had about her relationship and her union with GC, and all of the things that we know people from the outside like to inject into other people's uh, relationships and unions. But again, at the end of the day, when you're involved in a marriage and it's not working out and you feel that as you continue to go along with this marriage, you're losing more and more of yourself, you have to make the decision to leave if you're not going to be able to correct it. Because at the end of the day, if you feel like you have to lose yourself, dim yourself, make yourself smaller in order for your partner to have their way or to feel better about the situation, then guess what? That is the wrong type of marriage to be in. And it's better that you cut ties sooner than later in order for you to maintain your integrity, to maintain your pride, but also to save you some time to look for someone who is a better match. And a lot of people are saying, Jeezy, come home. A lot of people are saying, Jeezy should be with a black woman, so on and so forth. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that dating outside of your race doesn't automatically mean you're gonna have better results. It doesn't automatically mean you're gonna have the woman of your dreams that values you, that cherishes you, that treats you better than the, the women of your own race. That is not the case. You have to look at people as individuals. You have to find out whether that particular individual and their personality meshes with yours and it actually feeds your soul. And if you can't find that with someone, Please don't try to date them or marry them for other external reasons because it's never going to work out in the long term as we've seen with GZ and Jenny Ma. That's my take on the whole situation. You let me know how you feel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, part of my presence YouTube channel. Next move, best move. Peace.